Yo, different, me, different, everybody, different, do your thing. Okay, okay, guys, Carty and Carty again, guys, with this hypnotic amplifier part two video. I hope this is the last one. So, as I told you guys, you can see over here a lot of parts, yeah, that I replaced on the power supply. Yeah, so I replaced these six power supply MOSFET, which is the CS50 NO6. All right, and when I did that earlier on, I put it on and only to find out the all of them blow out. Nothing, no, not all, like one side. And one side blow out completely, and one most of the one side. So I did have to reinstall some fresh one again, and then I figure out what was causing the problem. And this TL494 guys was the problem. Yeah, I don't know, somehow it's shouting out. I don't know to the most of I'll send him some, you know. Yeah, it wasn't sending, maybe switching the wrong volts today. I didn't really check to really find out what exactly was, but I, I, what I did is just replace it because I remember I didn't do it. Normally when the power supply blow, I always replace this. Most of the time you can replace it, but sometimes depending on how the power supply goes, you don't have to replace it. Like if you have two MOSFET blown or stuff like that, you wouldn't have to replace it. But if the power supply is completely shot, with a lot of stuff around it, you know, like gate resistors and stuff like that, I normally would just, you know, replace it. But I didn't do it in this case because I didn't think it did burn that bad but eventually it was so it was sending some type of words to the output to switch on these that blew them so <sighs> right I did that replace it and I pour it up a little and I saw it comes on the light pour light right here comes on so I'm just going to show you guys and I don't think I'm going to do yeah, I could do a little audio not not yeah i'm not gonna do anything crazy guys uh, this type of thing i'll be a little switch here from zero to what zero and uh, something like that let me see it says here zero db yeah six db and 12 db that's what this switch is for right here and that's basically it for this amplifier and you have the gain low pass and subsonic yeah and the input so let me pour it on guys and let you guys see that yes guys so you can see we have a blue light right here i'm gonna send some audio to it now no not really audio i'm gonna just see if i get uh -huh. you guys can hear that so yes guys I do get hard out from the sample final guys so going to put it in the chassis and that's about it guys that's about it all right so yes guys so that's it for this hypnotic repair right here guys that's it for this video and the output um Output transistors that it uses, guys, is the 640N. This is FHP 640N. You know, it's a regular 640N as the IR. Don't worry about this number. This company always, she company always put some weird number in front of their. I don't know if they are the one who requested from the company that made them or whatever, but they always put some weird C on this one that says the C da 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 C50. You know, yeah, normally I know it has. FQ something I believe it was like FQP 1506 or so they use a different letters in front of the MOSFET instead of the IR but it's the same thing as the 640 N guys and the possible supply MOSFET you know that's it, the 44 N so that's about it for the circuit and these filter caps is like what 3300 microfarad or 3300 UF 63 volts yeah, for this hypnotic, we use these two and the power supply ones are filters are, let me see, uh, 2225 volts. Yeah, the regular suspect for the, for that. And then you have these other 
two other little filter cap right here 2200 oh, 100 volts yeah yeah these are yep guys so that's it and here tl494 here and here is have this regulator voltage regulator is it 7812 so that's a 12 volts regulator yes guys and that's it for this hypnotic gonna put it back into the chassis and screw it up and then that's it guys no biggie with this one no honestly you guys i didn't expect to go through a lot of what i went through with this amplifier i swear to you it's really sending me down blow up the mosfet at the first I was, I was so surprised when that happened We look at the amplifier and like, oh this is a little simple little repair and then it turns out not to be the case you'll be like man yeah, this little amplifier can throw a curveball sometimes guys I like how this part is giving me some little a little problem right here now this oh my god look what I did here man messed up this mosfet just like that I almost all right all right all right all right so guys that's it for this hypnotic repair guys yep show you show you show you some yeah there's a little light that comes on here too guys let me show you that little blue light that thing is that always on you know but that was on and the first for them they didn't know like you know <laughs> that that was on so he thought it was poor on but when he, he didn't check at the front here to see that the real poor light wasn't coming on now this light is connected from the remote area. You see right where it's at? Right, right here? Yeah, so as you turn it on, it's gonna come on. It's not like it's go through the circuit. If it was from up here, you would, they would, you know, that would be a different case. But it's connected from the remote area, so as you pull it on, it's definitely it's gonna come down. And you think, oh yeah, the amplifier is working. No. Nah. What he said, he said it's not getting any sound, but it wasn't like that. It was not pouring on at all. Alright guys, so that's it guys. Carty and Cart is out for now. See you on the next one guys. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe if you like what you see. And that's it guys for the repair of this hypnotic 2200 watt. That's what they say. Alright guys, I'll cart and cart out for now. Me, different, everybody, different.